Hello, I'm Sarah Grady Ackerman. Talking about movies with Jesus is the latest work by David Kirby. It's a 2011 Florida Book Awards Silver Medalist for Poetry, and the author is here with me to tell us about this award winner. Congratulations, David. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, well, first off, you're, now you're uh, an English professor at Florida State University, I am. and you've written several books and Bunch received a lot of awards. A few of those, um, yeah. But just, just tell us what it means to you to be honored by the Florida Florida Book Awards. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I, I lived in Louisiana, and Florida was this sort of exotic place that my parents would take us to for, for vacations. And then mm -hmm. when I was a young man in high school, you know, I would come over with my boys and look for trouble that we never really found. So Florida has always been kind of a dream state. Uh -huh. and therefore, to be recognized by Florida, you know, it's it, you know, I, I feel as though I'm being kind of you know, welcomed, welcomed into the land of my dreams. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a yeah. good way of putting it. Yeah. Well, okay, we've got to get to um, the title of your book. It's definitely an attention getter. How, yeah. did you, how did you come up with talking about movies with Jesus? Well, a few years ago, I had a sabbatical, and uh, my wife, Barbara Hamby, who's also a, a, a poet, writes mm -hmm. big poems, is, is a big thinker, and she said, you know, if we stay in Tallahassee, we're just going to do all the regular stuff, so let's go to Paris and take our sabbatical there. Wow. So, you know, we got all the, the credit and loans and money we could scrape together, because it's a pretty expensive city. Yeah. But one of the things that anybody can do over there is, is just go out and walk, and uh, you know, we, we walked in the Luxembourg Gardens almost, almost every day, mm. and uh, there are a lot of statues there, religious statues in one kind or another and I just began to think you know what would it be like to be walking along with Jesus and what would my Jesus be uh-huh Wow and so talk about these poems um, just kind of give us an idea of what what readers will find sure well the, the, what they're gonna find is um, a, a pretty all-encompassing approach I mean there's nothing's off limits mm -hmm. anything can go into that book anything can go into a uh, a, a poem. You know, Freud said that our dreams aren't determined by something, they're over-determined. Mm -hmm. And I feel the same way about poetry. You know, poetry has a, a particular poem, has not, not one or two causes behind it, but six or seven or mm. eight. And that sort of went along with the religious theme that I had, because, you know, religion, religion touches on everything. Religion mm -hmm. touches on, uh, you know, diet, uh, you know, Gosh, hairdress for women, uh, you, know, it, uh, you know, belief in the afterlife, mm -hmm. uh, history, art, you know, it, it's all there. So, you know, the, the book is, uh, it, it's a kind of a kitchen sink approach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just from the reviews that I've um, read, I mean, um, people have just fallen in love with your, your writing style, your wit, your use of imagery. I Good found myself know. just um, glued to the page thinking, yeah. what is he going to say next? <laughs> because you just, you just pull yeah. in so many yeah. um, different, different right. things. Um, I mean, how do, you, how do you come up with so many different ways of expressing your ideas? Well, you know, the, um, the, the, the first, when people think poetry, they think of it, you know, maybe as an expression of some kind of personal angst or something sort of large scale and, and theological, but I always think pleasure first, you know, mm -hmm. it, should, it should be fun. And then w once the, the reader is hooked, once the reader is having a good time, then you can say whatever you want. So, uh, you know, I, I write a lot about music. I'm a music journalist on the, on the side. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ever since I was a little kid growing up, I would go and, you know, kind of worm my way into the front row and, and, and watch these people like, like Little Richard and Chuck Berry. Uh, uh, you know, in Fats Domino, you know, charm audiences, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I'm, I'm not a particularly musical person. I can crank my way through a few guitar songs, but I thought, you know, that's what entertainment is. That's mm. that that's what being a showman is. You know, uh, you know, hooking people, and and uh, uh, you know, making making your pitch and having them want more, more, more. Right. Yeah. Well, now you just mentioned um, Little Richard. One of your poems. Uh, mentions everything from um, Little Richard to Kanye West, right, yeah. and I was just it, was, it made me think about what kind of feedback are you getting from your students at yeah. FSU? I mean, how do I mean? I bet they pretty th they think this is pretty cool that you're even mentioning Kanye West in your post. They're, they're a little bit astonished that I <laughs> that I know who Kanye West is, but you know, I I. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't do one of his numbers off the top of my head, but I do read the New York Times, and right. that's what I encourage them to do. And, mm -hmm. and say, so, you know, nothing's off limits. You know, mm. poetry is poetry's better when it has when it has more in it. Um, it, you know, a good poem, a good book of poems, should be action packed, kind of like an old style western. You know, it should be you know blazing six guns and arrows flying through the air. Well, I think that's what you achieved. Well, I thank hope so. you so much, and again, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.
The Florida Book Awards are presented annually to recognize, honor, and celebrate the best Florida literature. The program is coordinated by the Florida State University Libraries and co-sponsored by these groups that promote books by and for all Floridians.